Today we are going to talk about virtual reality in Teams meetings. Now the first thought which comes to mind is, oh, hi, I don't need virtual reality. I don't have the goggles. It's too costly, cumbersome. Wait, relax. You don't need VR goggles. You can use it on a normal Windows PC. First thing to understand is why would I want to do it? Because today, most meetings are hybrid. Some people are physically there, some people are not there. Now in such a situation, think, I have a meeting, there is a common agenda to discuss, but there are some people who are remote and I want to discuss something with them without involving anyone else who is in the meeting. How will you do it? Either you will have to do a breakout room or come out of the meeting, I have another meeting and do it. Now those are the kind of complex scenarios you can manage using immersive 3D space. This can be for daily stand-up, project uh, update, scrum, obaya, or it can be a gathering, informal, onboarding, send-offs, any kind of mix and match between a regular meeting and some other interaction. So have a look at it and then think whether it is useful to me. You need the updated Teams Windows desktop app, currently not supported on browser and mobile. Join a meeting as usual, but now go to View tab and say Immersive 3D View. First time it will ask you some permissions and then it will go into a scene. You can choose which scene you want, but basically it's a 3D space. Now how do you navigate? Like in a gaming situation, W will move front and this will move back. Similarly, these keys will move right or left. So understand the keyboard navigation first because that is the fastest and most convenient. You also have mouse navigation. Move the mouse, nothing changes, but drag the mouse, it will change your view. There are places where you can go to, there are places where you can't go to. So keep pressing the mouse button and it shows something. If it is purple in color, that means you can go there. So release the mouse, you will jump there, it's called teleport. And if it shows a red thing, that means you can't go there. All right, so now this is the space. Now in that space, there are some chairs. That is the place where your meeting is happening. And on the wall, other people sharing stuff will be shown. Now, where do you want to sit? You can just go anywhere and sit. There is also a sitting chart in case you want to make it more formal. Now, let another person join the meeting and we'll see what happens. Now, everyone who joins the meeting may not have Windows desktop, VR, doesn't matter. Then they'll be shown as a typical thumbnail there. But they can still hear, see what is happening, participate and even share screen. Now, this person who has joined is not in VR but sharing the screen. So now I can see the screen in my VR. But now if I want to focus on the screen sharing, I don't want all this VR. So double click on it, it comes up front. Now wherever you go, the screen remains and that can be made full screen if you want it further. So interaction is like usual, but because there will be more people joining and some of them will have the VR capability or immersive capability, they will be seen as avatars. When you join, anyway your avatar is there, but you can't see yourself, there's no mirror there. But when other people join, you can interact with them, talk to them. If you are near them, you will hear more audio. If they are far away, the volume will be less. So that's called spatial audio. In another window, your chat, transcript, everything is going on as usual. If you have co-pilot, you can use that also. You can use intelligent recap. Everything is like a team's meeting, plus immersion. The important part to understand is, in that room, there is one area where you are sitting right now, which is for the meeting. But let's say you want to talk to someone in the meeting, but you don't want to disturb people who are in the meeting. Now what do you do? You walk out. When you walk out at beyond a boundary, it will tell you oh, you are outside the meeting area now. Now call the other person also there and now you can talk to each other. The people in the meeting will not hear you. You may hear some faint sounds in the meeting, but that's how in a hybrid mode, you can have a sub-meeting or quick discussion, clarification, brainstorming without creating another meeting and without disturbing the formal meeting. That is the claim to fame of using immersion in the context of meetings. There are three types of rooms available right now and depending on which room you have chosen, there are different layouts available. Do you want to create your own? Yes, that is possible using Unity Engine, but that's not for end users. You need a developer to do that. Behind the scenes, this technology is called Mesh. You can also create virtual immersive events 
using mesh technology. The link is given in description. By the way, it has some games as well. When you look around, if you see an eye icon, that is some interactive thing. So here, this is an icebreaker. So a couple of people are standing around that table, click on a bubble, it asks you a question, and then everyone answers that question. That's one game. Another fun game is you go there, there are these pouches, you throw the pouches and it should land inside. You can just have a minor competition there. Little bit of fun. There's a music creator also. There are bubbles or spears rotating. Click on each one and different sound comes. Now these kind of interactive experiences are just demos. You can create customized ones using the Unity engine. But that is again a topic for another video. So conclusion is, this is a new opportunity. Try it out, play with it, get comfortable with it and then think which meeting will be enhanced by using it, start using it there and get business benefit. By the way, there are many ways in which you can enhance meeting management. I have a special video for it which is very popular. Have a look at it. So that's it for now. See you in 3D world next time. Bye-bye.